going on guys i'm will with gutter fighting secrets welcome back to another warrior wednesday where we discuss relevant topics designed to make you a better warrior today we're going to be talking about discipline you know in the face of everything that has transpired not only over the last weekend because you know that's relevant for americans really um in the face of things that have transpired over the last year two years five years has it been that long almost um Discipline is absolutely essential for the modern warrior, for any warrior, um, through any period in history, but especially the modern warrior. Whether you're a citizen soldier, whether you're a professional, um, and I only mean that you get paid by that because citizen soldiers are absolutely professionals, in my opinion, too. If you treat it like if you treat it like you should be, then you are a professional. But whatever type of breed of warrior that you are, right? Whether you're a amateur professional fighter whether you are a civil servant fire police em i even classify you guys emts i'll put you in there as well thanks for your service like whatever whatever it is right that whatever reason it is that you watch this channel um maybe you're even just a street warrior i'm down with that i'm cool with that um first of all welcome and second of all it's absolutely essential for us to be disciplined nowadays because everything is set up to make us freaking soft Everything, everything. I mean, <laughs> especially in the West, right? Especially in the West. And that's why, listen, there's another topic for another time, but this is why that we have the problems that we do in the West because we have just gotten spoiled and soft. But it is absolutely crucial that the warriors out there, the ones that protect the soft, weak sheep, and I hate to say it like that, but it's, it's true. Um, it's essential that we remain disciplined, um, I'm talking like when you get up in the morning, make your fucking bed. <laughs> like if you're not doing that already, get the get with the program. Like you should you should be doing that. Do it, okay? You will see why. It just makes your life better. Eat healthy. If you eat breakfast, eat a healthy breakfast. I'm talking like eggs, some fruit, maybe some Greek plain Greek yogurt, right? Whole wheat toast, whatever, right? Like skip the jelly, dude. Like. Look into it, right? We've got some videos here on nutrition as well, but plenty out there. Um, you have no excuse not to be taking your nutrition seriously. If you're sitting there eating junk all the time, some junk is okay, but if you're sitting there eating junk all the time, fuck you. You're no warrior. Like, get with it, okay? Keep your body healthy. And I hate to say that, you know? Like, you're going to sit there and take Ozempic. Ozempic only, like, strips lean muscle mass, mass off your body. Why are you so lazy? Why are you so fucking lazy? Just get out there and diet and PT hard every day until you lose the weight. I did it. So I can tell you that. <laughs> I lost 120 pounds. So I have no sympathy for people. And I continue to, sometimes when I start getting fat, have to go back to that hardcore fucking diet that I did where I do nothing but PT and diet. And it sucks, but it works. That's the only thing that works. So don't ever talk to me, please, about, oh, you know, I don't want to count my calories. I don't have time for that. I don't, you know, I'm just going to do the Ozempic thing. Like, fuck you. Don't. Like, be a man and be a warrior, first of all. Um, and I know that, like, that might upset some of you. Good. I hope it does. Because you need to hear it. If you're a warrior, if you're the type of person that wants to protect others, you need to be in incredible physical condition. And I don't care if you have an injury. You can work around that injury. You can work around that injury. I've done it all of my... All of my professional warrior career, I have worked around injuries. It is very common, okay? All the time, especially a mixed martial artist like myself, we get injuries all the time and we just have to work around them. Yeah, maybe you need to like take time off from wrestling. Okay, well, <laughs> then you can focus on hitting certain areas of your body that are weaker, right? You want to build a nice chest? Do build a nice chest. You want to get some fucking nice arms? Do it, right? Like, and then diet. Don't give me this fucking shit about, oh, I can't, I can't do this. I don't want to do that. Well then, all right. Like, yeah, I'm, you're not coming on my team, dude. Like, I don't want you, right? So discipline is absolutely essential. Discipline to do the things that we don't fucking want to do. Discipline to go and say, all right, you know what? Like, I need to learn how to fight. I need to go fight. I'm going to actually like sign up for some jujitsu, for some Muay Thai, for some boxing, 
for some judo or some MMA, like, dude, like go and actually fight. Cause you don't know how to fight unless you do those things or unless you're like fighting all the time on the street, <laughs> you know, unless you like, you grew up in the hood and like you, you literally get in fist fights cause you've been in jail and in and out of blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, okay, cool. Like that's, you got experience, but unless you have experience, like getting hit, hitting people, like throwing people, like you don't know how to fight. So do it, all right? Because it's absolutely crucial and essential that you do. You don't always have your weapon with you. I've been overseas for four months. I can't even carry a pocket knife because the countries that I'm in, that's illegal. I have to rely on my hands and maybe a pen sometimes. But you know what? Fuck. This is a perfect example of a pen that you might like to carry. Um, but <laughs> what the fuck is this thing really going to do? Come on, dude. Like, yes, it's better than nothing. It could, like, stab some pressure points and shit. But, like... Learn how to fight. Um, and that's why we teach on gutterfightingsecrets.com. We actually have courses online that will teach you how to fight. Not this bullshit fairy tale Krav Maga stuff that so many of you like love to indulge in. Like, oh, you know, I'm gouge his eyes and uh, kick him in the groin. That's real combat. Dude, that's not real combat. That's you standing there like pretending to gouge man's eyes, pretending to kick pads and shit and not actually like getting hit, not actually fighting. And for any of you out there who tell me like MMA and like the combat sports is not viable for combatives, you don't know how to fight. I'm sorry. I'm going to, if I'm, I know I'm offending somebody out there. Good. You need to hear this. Like the time for pity pat playing is over. Like it's, it's, it's over, dude. Like America, first of all, is on the brink of a civil war. Okay. So if you're not actively going out there and training, you're not you're not much good to us like you need to be going out there with a rifle um and and with a fake with like a, a, a training rifle and practicing your your bounding and your maneuvers and you need to be doing things like one shepherd that will teach you small unit tactics if you're concerned about that type of thing right and I'm not saying that any of you, first of all, let me put a disclaimer out there. I'm not saying like to go out there and do anything illegal. I'm simply saying that if you are a professional or a citizen warrior who intends on protecting the constitution of the United States um, from enemies that are foreign and blah, 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 you know, if you think that the Russians might invade or the Chinese might invade because our country gets to a weakened state, um, and you're concerned that you might actually have to repel some enemies, well, then you better be actually training because if you're not, again, I don't want you on my, I don't want you in my team. I don't because you're a liability to us. If you don't know how to do these things, you are a liability and not an asset. So go out there and train. You can go to any of the One Shepherd semesters. Does it cost money? Yeah. Can you afford it? Yeah. You can make it work, dude. You can take a loan from somebody if you really need to. Like, they will provide you all the gear and equipment. All you need is like two uniforms, bro. Like go out there and do it. And for those of you who are not inside the United States, well, number one, uh, good for you <laughs> because it's getting really hot over there, um, metaphorically and literally. And number two, um, you know, even if you're not, look, we've got wars on two fronts right now. We've got a war in the Middle East. We've got a war in Europe, right? Ukraine, we've got Israel. Um, we've got the the solid potential for a war in Asia to break out at any point with China. It's just, it's, it's, it's a mess, right? And it's been a mess since the pandemic. So the fact that like some of you are out there still trying to pity pat around and being lazy is ridiculous. Stop fucking being lazy and be disciplined, eat healthy. And I'm saying like eat nutritionally, eat optimally for your body. It, I keep coming back to that because it's so important. It's the missing link that like every warrior seems to miss. Okay, when you're like 20 and you're in the infantry and like you're burning like thousands of calories a day from like doing all kinds of crazy shit, like can you get away with eating pizza and hamburgers? Sure, fuck, absolutely, who cares? But when you get a little bit older and you're not out there every day like pumping packs and like just doing shit loads of push-ups and, and being so physically active, you need – you need your proper nutrition, dude. I'm 38, dude. I, if I don't properly like intake the right amount of macros and micro shit, like I'm not going to be able to do what these young guys do. I wake up every day with pain from injuries <laughs> and I still work through that shit. Now I'm not saying I'm some type of Superman. I'm not, I'm a regular bro. I'm a regular dude. 
but I'm a professional at what I do. And I want you guys out there to really get this through your freaking heads. I don't care how old you are, whether you're a young guy. If you're a young guy, you got no excuse. If you're an older guy than me, if you're in your 50s, dude, like this is even more paramount and more crucial than than ever. Like, like you need to work out in a smart, intelligent way, but you absolutely need to be in peak physical condition. Again, you need to be introducing the proper nutrients into your body every day. Consider a multivitamin too and some other supplements as well. We need more protein as we get older also. And train, dude, train. Like train in the things that are practical, medical skills, driving, okay? You can go and go to a driving course. They're, are, they're fucking expensive. So like, <laughs> it's not for everybody. But even if, like, even if, right? Even if you can't afford that, dude, there you got no excuse. You can figure out shit from YouTube. You can contact me. I will be glad to help you out in any way that I can. Go to fightingsecrets.com is our website. You can get at me, one-on-one -on -one message me securely, through that website, dude. I'm not going to try to like sell you shit, dude. I want to help. That's it. Again, you can comment down below. Any questions, you can send me an email. Go to fightingsecrets at gmail.com. Dude, anything that I can do to help fellow uh, citizen warrior, I will, I will absolutely do that for you. I want you to be disciplined in other areas of your life as well socially right if you don't like going out there and socializing guess what it's absolutely crucial for all of us as human beings as animals to go out there and socialize and you know what getting information from people is how the world works and it's how wars are fought and won i need you to get good at that okay if you don't like doing it good go out there and do more of it everything everything in your life you need to be incredibly disciplined with it and especially now because i hate to be dramatic about it and say that time's running out but i do feel like it might be <clears throat> i don't want any of you out there to be caught flat-footed and i know that all of you out there who are watching these videos are good people you're good men and maybe there's a few chicks out there that watch it too so i'll say you're good men and women and I don't want you to be, I don't want you to be harmed. Um, so I want you to know the real McCoy here. And the real McCoy is that combat is fucking hard. It's fucking brutal. It's fucking nasty. And if you're not in peak physical condition, and if you haven't trained for exactly the job at hand, then it's not going to be easy. And it's, again, you're, you're not going to be much help, right? You can't think that, oh, you know, I've, I know how to shoot a gun, um, you know, I've taken some problem with God. Dude, you're, you're not ready, bro. Like, you're not ready. I don't even feel ready. And I'm, I've been doing this shit for years. So <clears throat> it's important that you take the time now, the time that we still have, and prepare your mental and physical health for whatever may come. And maybe nothing comes, right? I hope, I hope, I hope. Um. In that case, you're better, you're better than you were. You are you are better prepared for life than you were. You are a better person than you were. You are more disciplined, and that discipline will transfer in all aspects of your life. It will transfer into you making more money. It will transfer into having more friends. It will transfer you into if you're a single guy, getting more women. It will help you in every single area of your life, and you will look better. And you will feel better. Discipline. Motivate. Right? Motivated. Dedicated. Ready. That's what I need each and every single one of you to be right now. Check out our website, gutterfightingsecrets.com. We've got our hand-to-hand -hand combat training courses out there. It's a great place to start. We're going to show you exactly how to fight. Train it. Don't just watch it. Train it. And if I can be of any help to any of you, let me know. I remain at your service. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. I'll see you next time, Mother Flowers. Stay safe. Cheers.